Hi everyone, today I would like to share with you a monoblock amplifier class D made by 4C Audio. So uh, the company uh, representative, they contacted me uh, by email and uh, they would like me to test their amplifiers, this monoblocks, uh, class D amplifiers. So I research a bit and uh, I see a lot of other uh, renowned audio YouTubers. Uh, they also review them and also they provide some information. So then I then I agree that uh, if they send it uh, to me, then I will share with the community uh, basically. So in this video. Uh, I show you basically this, this box arrived and uh, so this is the one second let me throw this away so these are the mono block in order to uh, play stereo music then uh, probably you need uh, two mono blocks so yeah let me see what is in the box so let us open one good packing very well protected and uh, you have a small uh, uh, user manual for this v3 mono model and uh, oh it's nice small device now oh, look so basically off then auto and on and here you have RCA and XLR basically so this is RCA this is XLR input this is for balance this is for un this unbalanced this is balance I think yeah and uh, you have uh, DC voltage between 30 to 48 volts wow so much voltage and you have a uh, audio gain you can choose from 31 to 25 dB again and uh, on the side you can see the build quality is very good yeah, nice smart boxes and uh, let's see should be a power supply of course down oh yeah Wow, look how big is the power supply. It's as big as my uh, charger of my electric bike. Wow. Well, I'm curious why they use high voltage like uh, 48 5 ampere. So I, I'll see the circuit diagram usually uh, with a 4 5 ampere. And only with a 12 to 13 volt uh, up to 100 watt could be reached but there should be a design purpose that's why they do it so yeah power supply build quality is also good Build quality is very good, and uh, this is a speaker out. You can uh, use banana jigs basically. This is XLR, RCA.
4C audio V3 mono blocks. Well, I don't know how much they cost. Uh, I mean, from uh, from uh, back of my head at the moment. But uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add uh, a link in the description for their uh, official store and Amazon and uh, then uh, you'll be able to see how much uh, uh, these uh, mono blocks they cost uh, regarding the power supply it's 5 ampere 48 volt so it looked like uh, uh, I am not sure, but it looked like they they have used a MOSFET uh, transistor in the output, which require uh, high current and high voltage in order to to gain in the smaller size. And uh, this uh, we have also seen in uh, many other circuit designs. For example, when the both start producing uh, this uh, mini speakers and the JBL also followed afterwards so they also changed the standard they they went to 17 volt and 18 volt and uh, 3 ampere from 12 so there, sh there should be some reason of course and uh, the engineers who design it I think they they did good job but uh, uh, I cannot give my final judgment as yet till I connect these two mono blocks to my speakers, my testing speakers, and then I input uh, various different sources. Uh, like I go uh, first with the Philips uh, CD player with the TDA deck chip, so we know how that will sound like. And uh, I have uh, one more question at the moment in my head. Does uh, uh, these mono blocks uh, require a preamp to control the volume? Because uh, it has only two settings for the gain. One is 25 dB and other is 31 decibel gain and audio. So I think this is gain is only for the preamp. So it has a preamp built in. Ah, that's right. So any line level can uh, can increase. But uh, the question is, how do we do the volume control? Because I don't see any volume control here. So, yeah, uh, to be very honest, I have to read the user manual, of course. But uh, I'm thankful this uh, to 4C Audio uh, to let me try their products. So, in the coming week, we'll uh, hook up and we test the audio quality and we use very various different inputs analog inputs uh, the CD the cassette deck also and I would also like to input a tuner so we can see that uh, how uh, this mono block amplifies it and then uh, afterwards I'll give my final verdict but uh, it's uh, quite uh, a good build quality I would say uh, maybe maybe I'll also open it up because I'm curious you know my engineering germs are asking me to open it up and have a look inside but we're gonna do on the next video so before opening it up first we test it and maybe a third video we can make where we open it up and I download the schematic diagram also 
then we try to understand the circuit design so especially the thought behind the designing engineers to create this uh, uh, very nice mono blocks thank you for watching and uh, I'll keep you posted on these uh, uh, 4C audio V3 mono blocks in coming week uh, we're gonna test it meanwhile I'll add up uh, their website and everything in the description so if somebody from the community is interested to to find a little bit more about it you can do your due diligence of course but uh, the final verdict about uh, the sound quality will be in the next video thank you very much for watching and for the audio thank you very much for sending me this so at least uh, my community will now know your product uh, of course I mean it's all about merit if your product performs very well then it will be a successful uh, product because a lot of startups and companies they are making uh, their devices in audio world but uh, we we see how it goes anyhow thanks a lot uh, everyone and I see you on the next one bye bye